Entomology is either a yes or a no. So referring to percentomology is a major no-no. Homology refers to, are two things evolutionarily related? Did they share a common origin and then diverge from there? So if we are trying to compare two proteins and seeing if they were coming from the same place, then that would be, are they homologous? And then it would be, yes, they are, or no, they're not. When people are talking about like percent homology, they're typically really thinking about percent similarity. So are these proteins similar? Are they similar in their sequence, say? We can use a couple of different methods where we can use percent, and so percent identity is asking for each amino acid residue, is the residue the same in both of these? Is it identical? And the number of identical amino acids divided by the total number of amino acids, voila, that'll give you the percent identity. There's also like percent similarity, and so there you go one by one through the aligned amino acid residues and say, are these biochemically similar? Say, are they both small and nonpolar? Or are you going from a nonpolar to a polar? Are you switching charges, that sort of thing? That'll all contribute to percent similarity. Both of those can kind of tell you how similar these proteins are, but they can't directly tell you whether they share a common genetic origin. And that common genetic origin question is the question that's being asked by homology. But it's either a yes or the no. They share a common genetic origin or they don't. So they could be that they share a common genetic origin and then they kind of just diverged a little from there but maintain their similarities. Or they could be wildly different and still be homologous. Or it could be that they kind of came from different sources and they converged on a similar looking and similar acting protein. So either of those are possible and you can't know. The closer the sequences are, the more likely it is that they are homologous, but it's not, it's not a guarantee. And if they are homologous, it's either a yes or a no, and it's not a percent. This can be confused because people often talk about like homology modeling where you take two similar looking proteins and you know the structure of one of them. So you kind of predict the structure of the other based on the structure of the homologous one. And so sometimes that might actually be a homologous protein, but sometimes it's not actually. So the term can be kind of misused like that, but you really don't want to refer to percent homology because that, that, that's a no-no. But it's a very common no-no, so don't feel bad if you've done it. Just try to avoid it in the future and go with percent similarity or something like that, percent identity, what you really mean. If you're looking for that percent identity information, if you use the tool Uniprot, select the sequences that you want to align, align them, then in the alignment results, there's an option for a percent identity matrix. Go to that so you can pairwise compare the percentage of identical amino acid residues between those in the aligned sequences.